guys, so as most of you know, we have all become professional gardeners during this COVID time. <laughs> Myself also, just kidding, because I've been planting quite a bit now, but today I'm headed to Centriscape, which is open because I'm trying to create a very nice plush backyard kitchen garden. And today I'm coming to Centriscape to get some of my seedlings and some other plants to make my backyard look pretty. So I decided to bring you guys along for the journey and show you guys what I get and the end product of my home garden. So let's go. So off the bat, I would just like to get everything because I'm obsessed with pretty plants. But today I'm here for herbs. I also want to look at the Monstera and Fiddly Fig to see because I saw they posted they have some new plants, also some succulents. So this is the wide variety at Centriscape. And I'm going to head in, see what goodies we get. They have some really nice wooden trellises for your backyard and also some pots and stuff. I don't need pots today, but um, oh, the Monstera. And this gorgeous fiddly. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is my favorite spot. These are where they keep all the fiddlies. This is a little one, it's cute. These are also pretty. And these, super cute. Okay, it's very breezy. I'm back home and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I purchased two big bags of pre-mixed soil. I got these very beautiful scythe. I got two and I also bought some seeds. So I got celery, pak choy, some scythe and tomatoes. And then I got these seedlings. So it's wrapped up. I have some lettuce, celery, and hot peppers. So these I will put straight into the ground. And I also have some sage over here by my plants that I want to replant into the back garden. So let me show you guys where I'm going to put all of these goodies. Heading to my backyard. I purchased some blocks from the hardware and I placed it along my back wall as you can see and I have to fill the inside with dirt right now it's just weeds I have a little baby mango tree growing there and I'm going to fill this with dirt and place all of my herbs and my plants which I got I guess here is the cleanest, so I'll start over here. I'll have to get rid of some of these weeds. And I also want to take this snake plant out and probably put it in a pot. This is my pomegranate tree, which is actually bearing. I have like about four growing at present. So yeah, so let's get down and dirty planting my garden. So guys, right now, I'm just replanting all of my sage into the ground. I've been meaning to do these for quite some time. And I finally got the time. So we're just going to pull these roots out, dump our soil, and place them in there. So that's one. Okay. 
these grow really wild and quick. So I'm just freezing the soil that they came in. If I see any frogs, I'm gonna run for my life. Because I'm petrified of frogs. So that's that. And then we have our food. Pot goes there. Just wanna loosen up our soil. Siege in there. When the dust settles, I'm just going to fill in the spaces with soil. So that's our siege. Then I'm going to fill with some soil for my side. I have all of my plants laid out and now we're going to dump my soil. out and then I'm going to dump the next bag. I may have to buy one more bag for now. Oh it's heavy. time taking out some more of the um, weeds but when the lawn is being cut the grass and the weeds spread here in any case so I just have to do some grooming throughout and that's fine so my soil is down and now I'm going to plant my seeds okay so first off I'm going to plant Scythe. These are some really big nice scythe. I'm going to take it out of the pot. Make a big hole. Bury. And then I have another. I'm going to do the same. Just keep it in line. some scythe seeds which I'm just going to spread all over. I just want it to be like bunchy and wild. It's too perfect. So I'm just going to put seeds everywhere. Cover it up. I 
don't know, like markers so that I can stick into the ground so you would know what type of plant is planted. Really cute. So next is my, I do have some more sides which I want to place into the ground. Hold one second. These are some little pots that I've had all around the house. Scythe plants are already so big. So yeah, so that's my scythe and my sign. Next is celery. So let me just gather all of my celery. Here I have five. And I'm going to put them in these little holes over here. One straight line. Make sure they are supported so that they stand up straight and they're deep enough so that the wind doesn't blow. Do I have a celery? So I'm going to take one of my labels and simply put. I took off my gloves here yeah, because it was annoying. Celery, like that, and I'm gonna stick it to the top, like that. And then, oh, you know you're getting old and your knees hurt when you kneel on the ground. And these stones. Okay, so my next plant would be give you guys like a panoramic view when I'm done so you can see how it looks I just don't want to see any frogs my hot pepper sign I'll stick that over there and then I have some celery seeds which I'm going to put in between my scythe and my seedlings so. I have no idea like how much seeds you're supposed to put but hey the more the merrier yeah so those are my celery seeds Next, we're going to my lettuce. I want to place my lettuce further down. So let's go to the end of the patch so you can see. Okay, so I placed my sign for my tomatoes and I'm just digging some holes and putting my tomato seeds. So this line would be for my tomatoes and then next over here I have lettuce seedlings actually 
so I'm gonna space these out because letters tend to you know like really bloom I find these are a bit wilted but I hope that they catch and grow really nice so if you guys are interested in getting your seedlings feel free to check out Centroscape which is in Shigonas at the Mid Centre Mall car park. Yeah. So these are my five lettuce seedlings. They didn't have any seeds, which I will still try to get, but for now, I hope this works. Rain is coming, and I'd like to get this garden done. And the last item that I have is pak choy. These are seeds, which looks like this. And I recently got pak choy from my father-in-law. Really nice big pak choy. And I was wondering if you could like replant the ends just as you do with like scythe because they were really big and nice. So I'm going to try that, but let me plant my seeds first. Same, dig a hole, pour some seeds, dig a hole. Yeah, so this is my Pak Choi area. Really nice range of goodies. I hope they grow. <laughs> I'm known for killing plants, not that I'm boasting. And then finally are my two ends from my pak choy. Now those of you who really plant on stuff may be laughing, but I really don't care. I'm just going to try. So I'm going to stick the end into the soil and we'll see if they actually grow. Hey, it won't hurt to try. So I'm just going to push these down like that. <laughs> I really hope they do grow. That'll be cool. my soil ends here for now let me show you guys it ends here I'm gonna take one of these blocks and place it over here just so that the soil doesn't go anywhere further you know till I get my next bag of soil so let me show you guys what it looks like so guys hope you enjoyed my quick gardening video it was fun having you guys. I'm no big farmer, but we're all at home, so it's really nice to plant your own garden. It's relaxing. It's really cool outside in my backyard, so I'm just going to chill here. I have my pak choy, my lettuce, my tomatoes, hot pepper, celery, sive, and then down here I have my, um, my sage. So I'm hoping that it all grows. <laughs> I have quite a bit more to fill, so like this section. And from here, go back. But this is a start. And I'm super proud. I really hope my pak choy grows. <laughs> Other than that, I have the seeds. So these cute little labels, I got those at La Vega, for those of you who are interested. Or you can buy it on Amazon, of course. And... When I plant my remaining seeds and get my soil, I'll be sure to show you guys in another video. That's my lime tree down there. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. I'm gonna have a pomegranate and chill. The rain is coming. So look at that. I'm not going to water it at the moment and I'll leave it till tomorrow morning to give it some water for now. Bye!